My people, how we doing this fine fucking Monday? I hope well. Make sure you guys check out RedHillCutlery.com and my friends on YouTube, Satu Dave, Timbo437, and My Bad Adventures. Actually, the vast majority of the knives that you're going to see today are from Timbo. Um, make sure you hit the like button right down there and if you do you will automatically be entered to win this counter sink bit uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you share uh, if you subscribe you will be able to get into all the giveaways and if you share somebody else might see it and uh, also get involved um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so. You can find the info to do so in the description. Um, all donations will 100% be used for Knives for content, and then they will be given away. Sorry, I was trying to peel this sticker. Was, um, this is today's sticker. We're going to put it over next to this muscle-bound dude. Uh, bourbon and blade sticker. All right. Um, don't forget, if you are interested, I am doing the giveaway on Patreon. Um, it's running from between now and through Halloween. There is no minimums. Uh, that means, uh, no matter how many people, few or a bunch, um, I'm still going to pull the draw it. Right now, I only have two patrons. Two. That means as of right now, it's a 50-50 shot to win um we have the uh the uh damn designs basilisk the uh qsp pelican um in that giveaway winner take all a uh microtech hat some stickers patches um a strop set um a crkt multi-tool winner take all um if you look down uh in my uh list of videos you'll see that um, you be able, you can click on the video that shows you what you'll win. Anyway, today's video is five more excellent, excellent, can't fucking talk, five more excellent EDC knives that will scratch that itch. And I'm going to do this one in price tiers like I've, uh, did in the past. Um, starting with budget and moving on up, um, still in the but kind of low mid-range the most expensive knife here would be 170 bucks, and the cheapest would be 50. So, starting it off will be 50. And this is the QSP Pelican in carbon fiber. It is much lighter than the titanium version, and I believe about the same as the G10 version. D2 steel cannot beat this knife. Phosphor bronze washers for 50 bucks. You get something that is made quite well, a halfway decent steel. I'm not going to say D2 is amazing because it's not, but it will do its thing. And this is one of the knives that I'm giving away on the Patreon giveaway. So um, you can own this. The carbon fiber is really well done. There's not any voids that I could tell. Um, it's quite comfortable in hand. Full steel liners. Nice pocket clip that is sunk underneath of the uh scale um it's just a good solid budget knife and it's just about the best 50 dollar and below knife you can buy in my opinion anyway that's number one the qsp pelican and carbon fiber um number two is the kaiser beck letter two button lock and this is a white mountain knives exclusive it is in 154 cm and as you could tell this knife is well used and well loved um excellent pocket clip full steel liners nice action nice button lock um and i love this steel and this has a nasty edge on it that timbo put on there um great overall knife edc size uh, a little small for me but for something that i'm just gonna drop in my pocket and run out the door with um Light duty stuff. This this will do the trick. And it's 70 bucks. 
You just can't, or 80 bucks, I'm sorry. 80 bucks though, still. Excellent carbon fiber G10 mashup here that I think looks really, really cool. You will see that? Oh, of course you can see it. Um, you can reverse the pocket clip. Has a lanyard hole for whoever would want something like that. Um, the only thing I'd, flipper only is the only thing I don't like. I, I'm sometimes, oh, there it went. Sometimes I can grab a hold of that blade with my finger on the reverse flick right there. I can get right into that plunge and flick that out. That's cool. Hey, be careful doing that though, because you can stab yourself. Um, let's put these back out here. That's number two, Kaiser Beg Letter 2 button lock, 80 bucks, uh, three, four hours worth of work, and you can buy yourself one of those. That's pretty cool. Um, next knife is also a Patreon giveaway knife. This is the Damn Designs Basilisk, and for $110, full titanium, 14C28N on bearings. I tell you what, man, this is a smoking deal for a hundred bucks. Um, this is the other knife that I'm giving away on Patreon. Um, excellent pocket clip. It is reversible. Butter smooth action. Excellent ergos, and I mean it, excellent. Um, you don't even feel the pocket clip. It's like it's not even there when you're holding it. Um, these are popular and, and for good reason. If you haven't tried one of these... I seriously, I would check it out. Uh, it came very, very sharp. Um, and 14 C 28 in is good steel. It's tough and it uh, resists corrosion pretty well. And it's easy to sharpen. Uh, they, all these are easy to sharpen so far. Uh, and as far as, yeah, everything on this list is going to be pretty easy to sharpen. Um, but for 110 bucks, that's probably the best bang for your buck on this list, on this video. All right, number four. This is a knife that I was thinking about getting and I didn't. Um, you'll see why here in a second, but I'm starting to change my mind. This is the Hogue Six Sour K320. And this is 140 bucks. And man, I'll tell you what, I wasn't going to get it because I got a thing with the polymer handles. I think it's uh, it, it feels cheap, typically. Um, and I don't like it. Uh, like the Deca and Magna Cut and the, um, Bug Out, I, I don't like the, this one, on the other hand, definitely feels way more robust. And what I mean by that is you can't, you gotta really freaking squeeze hard to pinch that. Um, now the liner is still barely a liner, but this polymer, how do I explain this? feels more like a, a, a pistol polymer. It, it's, it feels stronger. Uh, I don't know any other way to articulate that. Um, but it has a uh, excellent blade, S30V, nice choil. This is kind of weird. A lot of people don't like this, but it's to protect your finger from running up on the blade. But in my opinion, you can do without that and just pay attention. Um, it is an axis style lock that they call the Able Lock. You have four position reversible pocket clip. One second. Sorry, had to make my dogs hush again. Um, Landered hole for whoever. The pocket clip's nice, but I don't understand the flaring there other than it helps you pull it out of your pocket. Which, you know, that makes sense. Anyway. I think I am going to get one of these now because the polymer is not cheap feeling and I kind of dig it. Um, the blade, it's a little blade heavy, but it's not too bad. Um, anyway, S30B, I like S30B a lot. I think I'm going to uh, grab me one of these. They do have black blade, they have Tonto, they have um, uh, partial serrations, which I can't stand. Anyway, the action's good. It's on phosphor bronze washers. Um, yeah, I like it. And that is 140 bucks. And to me, that's that, that's fair. That's a good good price. 
Now the next knife I am going to review standalone because there's some things about it that uh, I need to talk about. This is the Cold Steel Engage. It is sporting the new Atlas lock, which is this doodad right here. S35BN has a really nice grind that gets, mm, it's kind of thick behind the edge, but it for a cold steel, it's not that bad. You could choke up on it with the finger chore. I like that. The handle is comfortable, even though it forces you into a certain grip, but that's okay. You can get all four fingers comfortably. So this section here that's forcing you to put your hand in there isn't that bad. And I have extra large glove sized hands. So most people, it'll be all right. You can choke up, uh, or I already said that, but in the choke up position is not as comfortable as back here. And that's rare because usually the choke up position is more comfortable as it is for this guy. Much more comfortable actually. Um, but this one's about $170, $175. Um, they'll probably go down in price eventually, kind of like the AD-10 did, um, once everybody buys them, and, uh, the, the, they stop selling as fast, they'll drop the price a little bit. Deep carry pocket clip that's short and sweet, and that's all you need, that's fine with me. This knife is heavy, it has skeletonized Get, I'm going to say those are aluminum, kind of like the 8010, the the liners. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But it is, it feels more comfortable slow rolling it. Anyway, again, I'm going to do a, a review on this because there's a few things I need to talk about. But all in all, for 170 bucks, it's a good option. And it's a great knife. <laughs> Um, I do like the AD-10 better, but anybody who wants one already has one, I'm sure. Um, my favorite, I believe, of all five of these, if I could just walk up to the table, pick one up, um, I'm going to have to say is this guy. Even though it's flipper only, it is so freaking smooth, so well made, so comfortable. And I do love 14C28N blade steel. And then probably second would be this guy. And then after that, you know, I'm about good with all the rest of them, about the same. Um, I really do like this Kaiser as well, even though flipper only. But you do have the option of opening with the, uh, the button. And you can also get in that plunge grind with your middle finger and reverse flick it. Um, all right, that's all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to show you these. Uh, thanks to Timbo437 for hooking me up with three of these to show off. Um, I've got a bunch of other knives coming up on the channel that Timbo sent me. I'm actually carrying one right now, this Bark River here. Um, I didn't carry it to work because it's somebody else's knife, but I've been carrying it around the... The property here doing my chores and stuff i haven't really used it yet but it looks to be well used but man man that's freaking comfortable anyway i'm gonna review this knife too i'm gonna talk to timbo about it um see if what extent i'm allowed to use it i'm not gonna baton with anybody else's knives or anything like that but anyway so uh, there will be some fixed blades. He sent me three Bark Rivers. So there will be some fixed blades on the channel. Probably do some feather sticking and some fire starting and all that good stuff with them. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I won't hold you up any longer. Make sure you check out Patreon. Um, if you're interested to get in on the giveaway, it will, be, it will end Halloween evening. And let's say 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'm just making that shit up as I go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a fantastic rest of your evening.